Hi guys, welcome to my mini kitchen. My name is Bryony and today I'm gonna to be making something really delicious and actually so much easier than I think people would consider it to be. I'm gonna be baking a whole sea bass with some sauteed potatoes and a fresh chunky salsa. So about a couple months ago, during the summer, beautiful summer in England that we had about five days of, we went out on a boat, me and some friends, and one of us caught a whole sea bass. I'd never cooked a fish before in my life and was slightly scared of cooking one. Really easy, simple, gut the fish, descale using the back of a knife, cut off the fins, chuck in the oven. It was so easy that I wanted to share with everyone out there how easy it is and how delicious and yummy it can be. So this is a whole sea bass and normally it would be in the fishmongers when nothing has been done to it. So I just asked for them to gut it, descale it and also remove the fins. So I've got a tray and I've just put some tin foil over the top and left a little bit extra around the edges. I'm gonna sort of tuck it round to keep all the heat in and onto the fish. I'm gonna take a sharp knife, I've got this very sharp knife here and I'm going to do about four not too deep maybe like half a centimeter slices down the main part of his body this is just going to help when we flavor and also when it cooks for the flesh to take in the flavorings we're going to put onto it and also for it to cook thoroughly all the way through he's got a little bit of a little bit of a body to him So to flavour our fish while it's cooking, I've melted about 50 grams of butter here and I'm going to add a generous helping of coarse salt, also some freshly ground pepper and juice of half a lemon. We are going to be putting some slices of lemon on the top as well. I just want to get a little bit, a little kick of lemon. Just mix that all together. You can add parsley or thyme or anything you want to add but I am going to be making a salsa and it's got coriander in it I feel it's going to be too overpowering so I'm going to stick with really really simple now we're just going to simply pour it over both sides of the fish and then we're going to go back to our lemon and we're going to just slice this up really thinly and we are going to pop a couple of slices inside and then our last three slices over the top. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap our tin foil just up and around it just to keep all those juices as close to the fish as we can, want the juicy fish. And we're popping it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. I think 20 for this guy, it's quite a big sea bass, at about 180. I'm gonna be doing some sauteed potatoes. I have some funky looking veg right here, if you hadn't already noticed. A friend of mine, she has her own little growing pot outside of her house and she lovingly gave me some potatoes and I'm really, really happy to be able to use fresh, homegrown veg. Do a little bit of peeling and then I'm popping them in a boiling pan. They're gonna be there for about five, six minutes. We just wanna parboil them really, really quickly. These are just little skinny potatoes too. So now our fish is in the oven and our potatoes are boiling. We're gonna be making a quick chunky salsa. potatoes have been parboiled and I'm just going to take them out of the pan. What we're going to do is run them under some cold water. You just need to thinly slice them because we're just going to fry them off so they should be, yeah, they are cooked. So they are cooked through, we just want to crisp them. I'm going to be using a big frying pan and put it on medium to high heat and we're going to drizzle some olive oil in the bottom. We want this to get nice and hot. I'm gonna flavor our pan with rosemary. I'm not really bothered about chopping it up. I'm literally just gonna chuck a few sprigs in there. So I've sauteed our potatoes, and now we've got a little bit more bite to them. Each one has got a little crisp on each side. And I've got our rosemary in there. 
and now it's just time to plate it up. I'm gonna do it sort of like a feast on a little platter. And here you have a really simple way to cook a whole fish, really delicious meal. If you fancy something a little bit special, maybe pushing the boat out, the boat, for a fish, for a dinner. <laughs> okay. Um, it's really delicious, really easy, and I really hope you try it. If you do give it a go, please let me know. Also in the comments box below, let me know if you want to see me make anything else. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, all of that, and I'll see you guys again next time.